So allow me to show you what I've been doing here. Pollying a whole car in a small garage with other crap in it and stuff all over the place it sucks because the poly is sticky and it gets on everything. Anybody that's used it knows. So anyway, I've been doing this in sections. First thing I did is I masked off the car. I did just the hood and the trunk. And then I came back the next day, taped off and sprayed this door and fender. And then so now, today, oh, and also this headlight panel. Now I'm doing this door and fender. And then I will do the roof and quarters and the rockers at the same time. Just, it breaks it up. It made it so I can come out here after work and get a few panels and primer. Blah, blah, blah. It's been raining. You didn't have to move stuff outside. Uh, so yeah. So I'm all, I got it all masked and ready to spray poly on these two panels. I've taken and hit the bare metal spots with a quick coat of uh, spray can etch primer. I guess there could be some debate on what to do with your bare metal when you sand through your epoxy when you're doing body work. I talked to a guy, I told him this is what I do, I take a poof can of etch. He thought that was crazy. He's like, oh, I don't trust anything under there. I don't know what that's gonna do later, blah, blah, blah. And I said, what do you do? You take and spot them in with epoxy? He said, yep, take, mix up epoxy and hit all the bare metal spots with epoxy. And I said, oh, so you let that sit for a couple weeks and then sand it before you spray your poly. Nope. He lets the epoxy flash, goes right on top of it with poly. So how is that a good idea? Epoxy takes a long time to dry. Poly dries in a few hours. So you have wet epoxy, you spray poly over it, the poly gets hard and dries within an hour, and you have this wet epoxy still shrinking and moving underneath it. How is that good? Is my way good? Spray can etch primer? I have no idea, but I would trust this way. This is already dry. I sprayed it a couple seconds ago. It's a real thin layer. Uh, I would say this is safer. I've never had any issues. Been doing it like this for a hundred years. Um, another option, don't do anything. Just spray poly on it. Poly will stick to bare metal, despite what everyone seems to tell you. Jim's truck, bare metal, body work, Straight to poly. Uh, what was that? How long has that been since we did that? 13 years? Something? I don't know. So anyway, pick what way you want to do it and it could fail down the road. Anything you do could fail down the road. I've decided this is the best option for me. I definitely don't want wet epoxy under here. So yeah, do what you want and suffer the consequences. So I'm gonna start mixing up some poly and being that I didn't show any of the other panels being sprayed, I may show some on this. I'm using some Featherfield G2. Um, I bought a quart of this u -Pol. I heard it was good. It's white, it's kind of weird, but uh, it's just a quart. I don't know what I'm gonna use it on. Maybe I'll use it on the something. No idea, but I'm not going to use it on this because I'm doing everything in the same stuff. So, let me mix this up. I'm using a 2.0 tip. Uh, I found that a 3.0 can get kind of sloppy, puts too much on. I think a 2.0 is perfect. I don't put any acetone in here at all. So there's nothing to evaporate out of it later. Um, yeah. Why am I still recording this? Supposed to be mixing up Bali. Bali? No, Polly. Also, only mix a quart at a time. Because this will harden on you. Especially if you mix up the whole gallon. But, anyway. I used 
uh, two quarts. It's pretty much a quart a panel usually. So I used two quarts when I did this fender and door. Try three quarts. Maybe a little more on them. More on. <laughs> and uh, you can get this blue plastic from Amazon. I don't, I doubt that it's actually automotive masking film, but uh, why well, they show a couch on there? Mask off your couch, eh? It comes with the uh, tape on it, and uh, it actually seems to work pretty good. So I've been using on her. I don't remember how much this was. It was cheap. I bought it because I thought it would be nice to have something with tape on it to do stuff like, you know, this here that it unfolds. It comes with like three different lengths. Anyway, seems to be terrific. That's just great. I don't know if I'd paint next to this. I'm sure the paint won't stick to it, but for priming and stuff, whatever. Hey, guess what? I forgot to film any spraying because I just started spraying and then I kept spraying and then I was like done spraying and then I was like, I should have filmed some when I was spraying, but I didn't when I was spraying, but now that I'm done spraying, I'm showing you that I sprayed it. So, that part's done. That dry for a day or so. Mask it off to do the roof quarters and rockers. Uh, amazing. And as you can see here, the fender is off my Ford. Oh, so I can cut in this one in that door jam. Anyway, we have this matched off now to poly the roof and quarters and rockers. Always a fun pain in the ass to uh, not get anything on the bottom of the car when it's done already. Makes it extra fun. Excellent order of operations. But uh, yeah, so. Luckily, tape sticks really good to dirty concrete floors. So it all worked out swell. So anyway, I'm gonna etch these bare metal spots. Start mixing up poly. Uh, I should just wait and do it tomorrow or this weekend. Today is Thursday night. It's like 9.30, but I'm just gonna get it done now, so. Away we go. You'll see it when it's done. I don't got time to be filming and nonsense and stuff like that. Alright, so there she is. It is now 11.17. So that took however long it took. I got, I think, four coats on. I sprayed a gallon and two quarts. So two quarts for the roof, two quarts for this quarter, two quarts for the other quarter. Uh, yeah. Looks pretty good. Just letting this place air out a little bit so I can shut her down and go to bed. It's flashing off so you can't really see, but uh, I didn't really find any anything I think will be a problem. It all looked pretty, pretty straight, pretty good. Yeah, it's nice to have this thing in primer. The only thing that's not primed is that front bumper filler, which there's nothing wrong with that, so I'll just sand that and final prime it. And then the grill, which I, I'm gonna look at it one more time, but I think I'm just gonna go buy a new one because it's got like 18 and a half paint jobs on it and I don't really want to mess with it. All right, good talk. Here's a little tip for you. Mask off your drip rails. If your car gets the stainless drip rail moldings, don't spray poly on these because it makes them too big and then to get the moldings on, you'll have to shave it all off with the razor blade anyway. Then you'll have bare metal spots. You'll be going to put them on. You'll chip paint and stuff. Why is my phone ringing? Jeez. 
So anyway, before I was interrupted by my neighbors who said they can smell this in their house, what I was trying to say was, don't spray poly on your drip rails, and then also unmask it while it's still wet because if you let this dry, it basically, I mean, it doesn't flex, so it's a real pain to get your tape off. Um, yeah, so anywhere you have, I think that's about the only spot on here. But if you have it masked, you know, like this, if that dries, and when you go to unmask it, it'll just break and it starts chipping and it's sharp and you'll stab your fingers and stuff like that. Anyway, that's all I'm trying to say. Oh, there you go, all unmasked. It's all one color again, which is kind of cool. Whoa, you can see my big fat door jam at the top. We've already discussed this, but I made this car as good as I could without adding metal to edges of panels to make the jams tighter or the gaps tighter. That's as good as I can get. It's not bad. I mean, really, what I would have done is added a little bit of a welding rod to the edge and tapered it in. The rest is fine, but that's just how these are. I've already explained. The door is back already from the edge of the rocker. So you're not going back with the door any. So that's just what it is. And these are all factory panels on this side. So just how they were. So we made it as good as possible without modifying stuff. Pretty cool to see it. It was all one color before when it was an epoxy, but it was also not straight. No, it's straight. All one color. This side is actually a little bit better than the other side. I know, so I should have fixed the other side and made it as good as this one. But anyway. Pretty happy with it. So now I'm going to let it sit for at least a week and guide coat it and start blocking. But for now, I got to get back on my car because good guys is in a month. I got to paint this fender jam, paint this door jam, put them back on, put the weather strip in this driver's door off this side of the car, put all the bumpers and lights back on, get my visor, put it on, clean it up, blah blah blah. Not a lot of work, but I didn't really want to spend a lot of time on my car until this was at the point where primer was curing, so it's not like I was taking away from this, even though I already did. But anyway, that's that.